good morning everybody. It's Saturday, so I'm down at the river uh, just by myself today. Unfortunately, uh, Damon from West Coast Prospecting couldn't make it. Uh, so I'm out here scouting for next weekend. We're on a claim up above the Applegate uh, with Republic Mining. Uh, and we've been here before. It's got big gold, but it's got no black sand. So that makes prospecting difficult. It's hard to know where you're on it. Sometimes you just gotta dig a hole and hope for the best. But luckily my first test pan actually has some gold. Let me show you. All right, it's not the biggest piece in the world, but it's not a micro dot. It's a decent little flake. And you can see there's just not a speck of black sand in here. Here, let me show you why I'm working here. Okay, this is a small creek, but you can tell by the way the canyon's weathered out that it gets running pretty good. And you can see up there are waterfalls. We got some speed. Everything's coming down here like a chute. And then as we go, we got a big log jam here. The main creek's going this way, but the river has carved out this bank and everything is slumped and it's dropped all kinds of bigger rocks here. And there's just sort of this big bar and I'm gonna try uh, maybe like a four or five bucket sort of sluice run and see how we go. Yeah, the first thing I gotta do is get rid of all this darn brush so my workspace is actually uh, not annoying as anything else. Hoping if I clear around here, get this brush out of the way, that little drop right there would be enough to sluice, and if not, I guess plan B will be right there. Okay. So let's get to work. Okay, I just saved y'all a half hour of watching me saw logs. Uh, fingers crossed I wasn't an idiot and sawed a bunch of poison oak with my bare hands, but I don't think I did this time. Anyway, we got the sluice rolling. Never used this one before. It looks nice. It's not exactly uh, clearing out that great but I'm just gonna run for it, uh, just go for it here. All right, here we are. You can kind of see the line of bigger rocks right here. And I didn't really dig this out too much. That's actually the water cut it down. So we're gonna start there. Uh, there's some big roots, but luckily they're all dead, so it means it's really easy to get rid of them. So if there's gold, this is an ideal spot. Let's do our first bucket. See how it goes. Alright, we got our half bucket here, classified to quarter inch. Here's our cut. Got a good chunk of dirt removed. Um, you notice on this side, it's more soil with gravel mixed in, and on this side, a lot more gravel so after this bucket we'll have to do a test pan and uh, see if it's better this way or this way because uh, every creek system is different uh, sometimes the gold's in the soil sometimes it's in gravel like that so hopefully either way we got gold let's go run this bucket hmm, that's running quick I don't think I've got it going right though. I haven't really used this kind of sluice and I think that little pile right there means I'm doing it wrong in that big pile behind the riffle that's not cleaning out. It's also a bad sign. All right, we got that first bucket done. I'm not liking the way the sluice is looking. Let me show you. We got a nice V going, but we're getting a pile up on the assay mat right there. We're getting a pretty big pile up right there as well. These ones seem to be clearing out okay. Well. Maybe it's not so bad. The only problem I really see though is nothing in the assay mat. Uh oh. Let's do some test pans. Let's figure out what's going on. See if that one uh, first test pan was just a fluke and I'm digging in the wrong spot or just need to go deeper or what. Alright, first test pan. We're taking it from the left side here where it's a lot more gravelly. Just did four scoops with my little shovel. Let's see what's in there. Let's try the soil side. Well, not a speck in that side either. So I think, I think what I'm gonna have to do is get these big rocks out of here and start running buckets unclassified. I'll wet them down just to speed things up, maybe punch down to a better pay layer. 
Uh, the sluice section cleaned out okay. It just had to give it a little time. It's not perfect, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll throw a few more buckets down there before we go too crazy, uh, switching spots or switching sluices. So hopefully under those big boys, if I can move them, uh, we'll get something good. Here's something interesting. You see these rocks here, how they're laying, once they cleaned them off a bit, they're kind of shingled together, one laying over the top of the other. And that can be a good sign. Oh man, those are bigger than I thought. I uh, still got one there, huh? Well, I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna do a test pan out of this. Some of this uh, dirt here looks pretty good. It's, it's got roots holding it together. More packed rock. So let's, let's see if uh, we're on the gold or not. Nothing in that test pan. And uh, my waders are leaking, so this is now gold whining with Matt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I don't want to be that guy that just keeps digging in a big hole hoping that one day it'll get better But uh, I think we're gonna be that guy today uh, The the mountain that this creek drains what had a uh, 17,500 ounce pocket of gold found on it about 130 years ago So you can get big nuggets here, and I'm a little hesitant to just sort of toss the overburden So let's just throw it all in the bucket unclassified wet it down and run it fast until we start seeing some dirt that looks a little uh, healthier. All right, so we threw a couple buckets unclassified down there. It's a bit more of a pain than I thought. And we got our first piece of gold, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It kind of started in the center and moved over this way. So at least there's something in there for sure. I wonder if that means the sluice isn't running quite right, but uh, I'm gonna do some more test pans. Maybe I will end up just making a pay pile and throwing it up on the, the bank over there and just trying to get down to something that looks a little better. Okay, we moved some rocks, uh, took a test pan uh, pretty deep. We're about two and a half feet down from the bank now, hit the water table. We got one micro dot. So, I, you know, I'd have to move all this and then punch farther. And, uh, you know, I don't mind working in water, but it's so much nicer when you're working in running water because you can uh, see what you're doing. In this, you're just feeling around and moving big rocks. I don't think I'm up for it today. Uh, it might be worth coming back to dredge, though. So, we are going to clean this guy up, see how we did. Unless that changes my mind, I'm going to uh, do a little expedition upstream, see if I can find some uh, nice bigger gravels uh, a little closer to bedrock. All right, she's cleaned out. And there's all the black sand from four buckets and all the gold. That's like a speck of bucket or a half bucket. So I think I'm going to take that thing back up to the car there, come back down with my Mini 6, and head upstream a little bit, see what we can get. Okay, I got everything together, ready to go upstream. Got this little waterfall here. I'm on the opposite side. My uh, hole was over there. And I just spotted this little crevice here. And it seems like it's got some packed rocks in it. So before we head up, we're going to give this a little try. Well, I already took a peek, but uh, well, that paid off. So there is gold in this creek. That's nice. It's really reefy, too. Came right out of this crevice here. Yeah, and I think if we learned anything, it's that this gold is on the bedrock. So. Okay, we managed to break that crevice wide open and get to the very bottom. Got about 10 nice little flakes, uh, mostly pretty small. And a couple specks of pan, which is nice, better than nothing. Uncovered this great little crevice. And got a nice little bit out of it. That was a nice little surprise there. Not the best crevice, you know, it's sort of rounded bottom, loose dirt, but uh, too... Uh, Two chunky little bits in there. So I'll take that any day. Now the question is, do I keep working here or move up and hope for better? All right, I've been testing for a little while up and down the stream. Uh, finally got uh, a decent flake out of the bank here. 
So you can see we've got a bit of an odd bedrock uh, formation there causing a waterfall. The water's coming this way and hoping that it's sort of piling these big rocks up here. They're mossy, so they haven't, they've been there for a while. And I'm just chasing the bedrock into the bank there. And here is our chunky little friend. Yeah, it's got some thickness to it, so that's good enough for me. Put my sluice right there and uh, see if I can collect some more of them. All right, got the sluice running pretty sweet. Uh, have a nice test pan, put a bucket down, and just like last time, I think I only got one speck. Uh, did a couple more, I sucked off the bottom, got some micro dots. Um, I don't know if it's the best place. Almost looks like a tailings pile. Um, and an old plume right here. But uh, it's late in the day, so I'm just gonna keep going. Threw off all the overburden, and uh, we'll run buckets off the bedrock. And hope that uh, we get something nice in the sluice before it's time to go. And I'm kind of just following this bedrock in. It's got a little ledge here, it dips down, but it's just clay back in there. I didn't find anything, but we got a nice drop off happening here. A lot of overburden in the way. But we got our first bucket from this drop off. We're going to run it. Okay, we put our last bucket through. We got. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. There's one. There's two. And I think I got one in the letter here somewhere in the T there. So, <laughs> not the best, uh, best day gold wise. Here's the hole. Just kind of followed this bedrock down. It's a nice little hole in there in the bedrock. Um, so I'm going to suck it up with the Yabby. Uh, hope something good's hiding in there clean this out and I think I'm done for the day gonna try uh, go somewhere a little more consistent tomorrow just two specks suck the whole bottom up nice little hole jagged bedrock the whole nine yards two little micro dots so let's clean the sluice see if we got any surprises my fingers are crossed but uh, my hopes are or my expectations are a bit low. Here's the sluice run. It's better than I thought. We got an actual almost flake there and a nice little chunk of lead. But uh, yeah, not quite up to my expectations. But uh, I know it's here. It's only my second time here. Sometimes it takes a few uh, trips to figure a freak out. Especially one without any uh, black sand. You know, all the gold's just at the bottom. You just gotta punch through the gravel and hope there's a crevice there or a hole. So let me dump my snuffer out and show you how we did for the day. All right, yeah, it doesn't look half bad. There's some chunkier bits there. Might be like a .1. I guess we'll have to see when we get back. Yeah, here's something kind of cool. There's the creek way down there. And all those little lumps in these mounds are hand stacked uh, coarse tailings from the old timers. And I'm like 20 feet up from the creek. They worked hard. Um, I'm wondering if they, the creek used to be on this side and they moved everything and pushed the creek over here and cleaned this out as they went. <sighs> they need to know. Okay, not too far to go. All right, we're a little bit above a side creek here. And thanks to a helpful miner, we found a mine. Looks like it's just a small attic that goes in. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a dangerous one. I'm not gonna go in far. Oh, how cool is that? I wonder if they got anything out of it. You know, I found some of this stuff. Whew. That looks like it could be interesting. I'll take it home and crush it up sometime. All right, time to hit the road for reels this time. Okay, we are back. We got the gold cleaned up here. And as you can see, it's pretty chunky stuff. There's not a ton of it, but uh, you know, it might weigh up. So let's uh, throw it on the scale here, see what we got. Well, at least it weighed up. 0.12, better than nothing. All right, on. All right. See what we got for the year here. All right, 
So I added my uh, pickers there on the left. And we will see how we do here. Ooh, hey, we're getting close to six. Not bad, seeing it's the uh, first week of April. So it might be a uh, one ounce year if we uh, play our cards right. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I think I'm going to head out again tomorrow if my uh, body will let me, and uh, hopefully make another video. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.